Hello, everybody. That's a chunk of basswood, and that is a tiger swallowtail of the female persuasion. I'm going to do a little bit of pyrography this week. Those of you that have been with me for a while, well, you know I like switching things up. I love to wood turn, but I like to carve and I like to wood burn as well. Just trying to keep things fresh, you know? When I do these wood burnings, I like to make them as realistic as possible. Which is why I trace out the, the outlines. But then you'll see I go in and uh, kind of do my own thing with the color and the texturing and the filling just to make it come to life. Or at least that's the hope. We'll see how it goes. So you can see that's a really basic outline of that, uh, that picture. I'm going to do all the blacks with the wood burning pen. All the outline and all the texturing. I usually do a heavy uh, stippling around the edges. Uh, I'm going to do it a little bit lighter this time because uh, this particular butterfly calls for some texture within the wing itself. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. I'll just do the, the basic outline and then one of the wings and we'll move on to coloring. Now this is some of that uh, real light texturing I was talking about and I'm ever so gently just moving the tip of this wood burning tool across the surface of the wood. Uh, just pressing down here and there and where it passes over a little more lightly it, it just applies color without uh, putting a little dent in the wood or the stippling. You'll get some real good uh, views of that if it all works out towards the end of the video. Right now it kind of looks like a hot mess, but I've got to trust the process and everything I've got worked out in my brain. A little scary. So that photograph right there is not the same one that I transferred onto the uh, basswood there, but I want to keep that up for, just for reference. I think the colors on that one are exceptionally pretty. It's my understanding that uh, as a butterfly matures, the colors start to fade, and the lower part of the wings, just above the blue on this lady butterfly uh, it's a very light yellow almost a white uh, 
but it's really pretty. I'll see if I can't duplicate that. And here I'm just applying more texture, uh, less in depth and more in perception, I guess. Uh, just applying little dots outside the, uh, the black lines. It almost diffuses it, if that makes sense. I'll show you a close-up here. Sorry about the focus. That's a good look at it. All right, it's subscriber project time. Always fun to look at what you incredibly talented people are making out there. Mike Vasilio made these. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. Love that rolling pin. Graham Butler made this. He made this for the January 2021 clock challenge. You can look that up on YouTube. Great work, Graham. Eric McKeegan made these on his scroll saw by hand. Look at the detail. This is really tremendous work. Very impressive, Eric. Kim Lindsay sent this to me. I got it in the mail the other day. Unbelievable. It, 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 talk about touching my heart. Kim, I just can't thank you enough. And you're very talented. The detail in the ropes, the feathers, just outstanding. I really appreciate it. That's going up in my shop. And like it said there, thank you everybody for subscribing. I really appreciate every single one of you. I'm using Prismacolor pencils to color this entire butterfly. And I'm just eyeballing that photo on my phone, trying to match up these colors as best I can. Well, I think I got it pretty close. Let me know what you think. Oh, and then there's this cute little guy.
Here's a good look at that texturing I was talking about. Thanks for watching. God bless and Semper Fi.